sitting here tonight pray for Pastor Myrna I stepped on her foot <laughs> tell the whole life amen now I showed her in the foot amen but if you're here tonight what is on my heart to do for the Lord we're going to be talking about witchcraft. That seems to be where the Lord has kept me for the last weeks. I have uh, three new books that came in. Um, they're on my porch now. But uh, studying the realms of the dead and the immortal and where spirits go and spirits travel. And then uh, the other one is... Uh, I don't get into their names on YouTube, but they're very interesting titles and books and things what God was doing when he brought the children of Israel Israel out. So if you have your uh, Bibles, turn over to Galatians. And then uh, when I get done, I'm going to pray for you. Thank you, uh, live stream audience. Uh, Catherine and Ishmael. Uh, maybe Mitchell. All these children of mine naming these babies, complicated names. I think they're doing that on Pastor Greg. 
Benaiah. Yeah, my son named his daughter Anessia, pure one. I'm like, okay, I just got to say baby. Then I get play for people, Gabri and, uh, and I'll do uh, Anaya, and I'll remember it. But yeah, so everyone who's watching, Christine and Dustin and uh, all, all those who are in California, all you guys, uh, Maryland, Florida, thank you for tuning in and watching, Pat. We have a live stream church, a live stream audience as we're building. We're doing everything we can to stay with the flow of technology on the behind scenes. It used to be years ago that the ministers would have to um, get a rapport built. They traveled, you know, in a circuit, a unit. And it would take a good 10 or 20 years for a pastor to be known so he had a good rapport. Today it only takes one YouTube setup in one week and you're internationally known. So it took 20 years, now it takes a week. Uh, they are building buildings, but the, and forgive me for that analogy, the old school using that analogy, but ministers would use the thought patterns of we need to get a building and uh, we're going to build the school for the prophets. Today, you got to have a person who's uh, savvy on the computer. Uh, I keep trying to tell them technology is where the forefront of ministry is at. If you're not in technology, you're into dark space. You're, 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 you know, you're, your phone's got to be up to the iPhone. It's got to be up to the, the tech where you're getting information zap. You know, YouTube, uh, I had a, a buddy of mine, he called me and said, hey, uh, He's retired. He said, Where, where's everything out here on the Christian things? What, what happened? I said, well, you're what they call dark space. I said, uh, people don't use the TVs anymore. I said, all those programs that used to be on the, the TV and channel, I said, most of them are on YouTube. And I said, uh, uh, they're not on there. And he's like, wow. And I said, so you know, if you want to build a school, you're not building, you're not taking resources and funds anymore to build a building you're going on to the internet and you're building your school there and then people sign up and do their school when they have time over the internet. When's the last time any of you have took a CD and put it in your car? Just think how quick that went by. And I remember I was burning worship CDs by the tons for people. And I just recently thought, you know what I tell them now? It's on YouTube. How many of you went and bought a map lately to go on a vacation? You don't go out to the truck stop and get the map like they use. Don't you sit down and pre-plan where you're going? Yeah. What do you do? You go to maps on your phone. Everybody Google Maps now. Right? Has anybody went to the telephone booth and used the phone lately on the corner? Remember having to stop by the booth and everybody got to look for a quarter? If somebody didn't rob it and take all the break and get the quarters out of it. Right. Don't you do you see a telephone booth anywhere? Just sit there and think of all the things that you do not see. And look how quick they're leaving. So the the book of Daniel, somebody can find that for me. I believe it's where he says they will run to and fro because knowledge increases. I'm going to read that first because I'm going to show you something so you'll see this. And uh, everybody tells me, well, Pastor Greg, you're talking about the beast system. Uh, uh, and we're not to get involved in that. And I said, well, you know what? I'm going to use every bit of the resources till the day comes to where I don't have to use it anymore. So Father, right now we just pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Father, right now that everybody sitting in this room will get an impartation of wisdom. They will receive a fresh impartation of wisdom. I pray right now, Father, over them that you would release the wisdom that Joseph had. You would release the wisdom that Daniel had. You would release knowledge and wisdom and increase in them and teach them how to run with the increase of knowledge and the things that you're raising up to be used. I pray that over you now. And I pray over the live stream audience in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. 
So let me just teach you about impartation. All you have to do to receive an impartation is be under the sound of the voice. You don't have to have hands light on you. So I'll impart on you tonight wisdom. And uh, I'm going to read from uh, Daniel. If somebody could find that for me. 1074. I know where it's at, but I want to show you something. 1074. And uh, what would what would you call what ten seven what would you call this generation? What would you call it? So, uh, Ricky, I'm going to entitle this the. Uh, what would that be? Tech? How do you describe it? Technology uh, generation. It where it describes internet, cell phones. I know you're sitting there thinking, "What is that?" Wait until I show you some stuff, and you'll be like, "Okay." I know we're going to talk about witchcraft, but just hang on. So you could see something that uh, a lot of people. It would be the technology generation. Does that sound right, Thomas? Technology generation. So I can help Christians who always are saying, oh, we shouldn't do that, we shouldn't do that, we shouldn't. You know, I know some good Christians who don't even have a cell phone. Honestly, they don't. They tell me it's the beast, they won't own them. They haven't owned them in years. So anybody that you know who doesn't have an iPhone is what they call dark space. Uh, I know Melody will agree with me uh, at, if there's no one in that, that has that phone that's up to date, this what is it? Because they're getting ready to do G5, then the next is G7. You do know they're not uh, going to build driver cars anymore. We're going to cars that drive themselves. You're going to be forced to buy these cars because they're not selling the parts for your car. So when your parts go down, they're not going to have the parts. You guys don't know that? Tesla already has driven uh, 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 diesels that are driving down in Florida on I-90, 200-something miles. So they're going to put in, uh, my daughter told me and my wife that she's seen a guy sleeping in the car was driving him. So these are right in the forefront. The next five years, you're probably not going to see any type of banks or money orders. All that stuff's going to be ancient. And it's, uh, uh, it's moving quickly. So for me to be where we're at, the Lord had put it on my heart that the ministry's forefront, Greg, stay up on the technology because the Spirit breathes through it. The Spirit can move on it. And people look and go, well, that's, that's, that's not, uh, we don't want to get involved. Uh, the most of the ministries I know that aren't building buildings and fighting for land to put up because people don't have time to come to them. They're not filling them. So... It costs us to go get a big building and put it up. Then you only occupy it for two or three hours on Saturday, Sunday. Then you close it till Wednesday. Then you got all that you got to pay on. So it's easier now to build on that website. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share this with Janae. And I told her that DJ needs to be involved in uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Go to school and learn how to be Bitcoin currency and I seen to where that's going to be like sixty to seventy thousand dollars starting out, a hundred thousand dollars per year, and uh, so you need to get your kids involved in uh, the crypto mining and currencies, the schools, because they're going to be big, and you're going to see things rapidly change, and they're they're changing rapidly. So I believe it was in the book of Daniel. Chapter 12, verse 4. Where knowledge will increase, right? Right. And uh, it says in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4. But O you, Daniel, close up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many will run to and fro, and knowledge will be increased. 
So notice the Lord's telling you knowledge is going to be increased. So you're getting ready to see the G7 come out. And you're seeing them, they're crypto mining. And you, everywhere you look, you'll see Bitcoin. And I don't know if many of you know this right now, that uh, Facebook, they had uh, put uh, Mark Zuckerberg up in front of Congress and they stopped him from uh, making a, a currency. I want to call the currency Lavender. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but it's got a name. The Congress stopped him from making a currency. So if you pay attention, everybody's making some type of currency. You just go through the list and look at it. And uh, what holds the value on the Bitcoin is it's at demand. So like one coin's at $9,000. So they had people who are becoming uh, uh, millionaires. The two brothers who sued Zuckerberg for stealing the Facebook from them, they invested into that. They're billionaires. So that stuff is uh, uh, not fake. You're just not there yet to understand that the dollars you have aren't going to be there shortly, and you're going to be forced to go into some type of cryptocurrency. Now, what I do know is there's somebody has to build those accounts in the crypto mine. So see, your, your, your monies will be involved in that. So the ministries have to advance and regain. How many of you, when you fill out your insurance, renew them every year, do they tell you that you can call your doctor on the phone? You don't have to go and visit him anymore? That's a part of your thing. Some of them don't even go in the room and visit the patients anymore. They do their charting from over the TV. So you see how quick and fast that's changing. So all you have to do is when you go to your job, they're going to tell you, you know, we went over to crypto. When it's backed by gold, it has a lot of value. And it's increasing. So the increase of knowledge is, is to where I'm seeing that the ministries that are, 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 are moving right now is the ministries that are moving with technology. It's not the ministries that got four and five buildings on their campus. Remember the old school days where, you know, the, the demand was build a building, get another building, and then get buses. Then go out and pick them up in the neighborhood. That's not really done today anymore. Most of the ones that have smaller ministries are building their ministries off technology. And I know people are looking going, well, how, how does that church, when, when, when we don't go to the building, I'm not saying don't go to church and go to the, your computers. How many of you woke up this morning? Now just sit there with me. I want you to think, what was the first thing you touched? When you woke out of that bed. Phone. Shai's already guilty of it. She's already manifesting. Caught learn of the coffee pot. But in one other hand, she was thinking. What, did, what do you do when you touch it? What are you looking for? Information. Do you know what it took most of the church people to do? They would have to travel to see the, these uh a great anointed ministers. Today, for me to be standing here, it puts more demand on me to study harder. And guess what I'm doing? Information. I have to be in the know if I'm Amen. going to be there. Amen. So the, the pressure used to be you have to preach the house down to keep the people there. Now it's change to where you have to have knowledge to keep people there because all you are doing now new converts and even the older ones are saying well you know what I watch him and they said and watch that a lot uh, don't consider that church but there is a lot that do so if they cannot get it from the corners They'll go to YouTube and watch. And if they can't get it from YouTube, they're Googling Google. If they can't get it from Google, they got Facebook. If they can't get it from Facebook, they got Instagram. When I turn on there and look, there are so many prophets on there. There's people with a list. I have a prophetic word for the month of April. I hit it again. I got a prophetic word for July. June. There's prophetic words every day on there from somebody who woke up. And then the other thing is there's somebody who had a dream. 
Then there's somebody who had a judgment. Somebody can tell you about America. Somebody can tell you about a singer. Somebody can tell you about somebody. Do you know that the first thing you do in the morning, think about it, is your mind tells you, go get information. You go to checking out all your family on Facebook. Right? Don't you see who's got in trouble overnight? Who didn't? And you're scamming through? Who's gossiping and talking? That's why you're stuck on your phone. Then you look and time goes by. And it's like, some people don't have time. But I'm going to tell you, when you get off of work, what do you do? You sit down and refresh yourself. Have you went to work and ever left your phone? Look at you, no. Have you ever went to work and left your license at home? I'm trying to draw a point. One thing you won't leave is the phone. The first thing you notice when you're in the car is you're not looking for keys. You're not looking for your work badge, even your lunchbox. You say to yourself, where is my phone? You'll go to work without lunch, but you will not leave that phone. You, don't tell me you won't. You're not leaving the phone. And guess what? Here's another one that you'll see most Christians manifest on. They'll get all the way to work and the phone's dead. And I'm telling you, they'll spend the whole shift looking for a cord because they're power cords at home. And they're looking for somebody to plug them in to recharge that phone. And guess what? Every five minutes, they're going by to see how many power grids have picked up. Come on now. You guys know it's true. You are what? Self-programmed. What, what are you doing? You're being programmed to find information. So today, you know, when I go to talk and somebody tell me, well, I already heard that. I say, you didn't? I go, yes, such and such. I'm like, wow. So to be a minister today, you really have to get revelation. and You really have to stay ahead because you can get on YouTube and there are so many people that are getting involved and increase the knowledge. And I'm telling you, if you don't understand that the iPhones are changing, from what I hear and understand, that there won't be no more phones. Now, hang on a second. Just bear with me. They're stating that, and you can go Google this and look for yourself. I'm, I'm building this to show you something, what's happening. It has its good, but it also has its bad. How many of you bank off of your phone, can check your banking accounts and stuff? How many of you shop? How many of you buy groceries? My Lord. You see all the stuff done on there? And a lot of people that are, are so Shy's in the Young Blood Club. She's in the 20s and the 30s. And then you, the older, which is me, we're, we're not yet to do that because we like, no, you're not getting my digits, my numbers. And they're like, y y they got security cards and codes. Well, you got? And they don't care to have a car chewed up and get a new one. The, the older saints are like, no, I don't want nobody to chew my card up. But you see how they're moving. Now, just sit here and think for a second about your kids. Janae, think how accelerated it will be by the time DJ gets where he's going. It will not be like it is now. I haven't made CDs, and I couldn't tell you when, and I just realized. I looked over my CD pile, and I saw, that looks like my A-tracks. They're ready for, remember your A-tracks? Uh, your, your toasters with two little things on the side. Now they got four, and it pulls it down. It tells you, done, beep. Now you can pull up to your car, and you can look at your phone, and your phone to talk to your doorbell. Like Ishmael and Catherine, they have a, a smart home. I told them they're digitized. Everything in their washer, dryers, that, that not, not this with them, but the refrigerators. Do you guys see where they talk to you? They tell you everything. You go and talk to Lexi. Now you can go and talk to Nest. You got a dog that's not even there. You go up to the door and the door will bark and it tells intruders away. Now you got cameras and film. It won't be long before a gun comes out the door and comes back in. Or you're snagging a box off the porch and you get tripped or chased down by a robotic dog that'll maul and eat and hold you till the cops show up. It won't be long that you're going to see things going down the street that looks like a robot and it's a robocop. It won't be long. So you go back to my parents who are still alive and my mom and dad still don't do things like we do. They're still old school, old old school. Yeah, I said that, mom, old old school. I mean, 
old school, money or and I'm like, old school. Right, look, Thomas like, who, who does that? So watch this, just pay attention. When this increases, why is it increasing? Because the generation of younger kids are compelling that, and they're pushing it. Do you know that AI has a machine when you go to the doctor's office, it can determine how long you're gonna live. It does an algorithm on your heart, pinpoints to the time you're going to die. Do you know what that will be used for? Insurance reasons. You'll get the picture when they put you in front of there and tell you, well, you're not going to make it. No insurance. You guys go Google for yourself and you'll see where it says algorithms, AI heart. It will tell you if you're going to live. Now, what happens when you do the eye scan and you stand in front of it and you're lying and it tells them you're lying? And people aren't aware of that. They have that ability in the police stations to scan you to find out, do you know that they're scanning cow's faces now and chicken's faces? Because it tells the farmer if they're sick. I got that from Rick Wells if you watch. So they can scan a cow's face and a chicken's face to tell if they're sick instead of waiting for them to have a symptom and find it. So they have, when the cow goes up to, to drink or eat, it takes a digital picture of its face and it tells him about his computer. That's cow 98. It's healthy. It's not sick. Also scanning the chickens. So you see, what, right, when have you heard that they would scan the face of a cow? Now understand something with the, the system with Zuckerberg and I believe the lavender, if I'm saying that right, and he'll probably tweet me back and tell me you're wrong if you're going to preach that. But his system, from what I understand, is money. But it's, it's cryptocurrency. Now sit here for a minute. Look up here at me. I'm going somewhere. Watch this. What do you do every day when you get out of bed? You get your phone. How many of you know that you have to have your phone now to put in applications? How many of you know that you have to have an email or a Gmail for them to contact you back? How many know when you do customs and visas, they contact you on your phone now? Everything seems to be going towards your handheld phone. So many people don't know that they're working towards removing this, the phones you hold in your hand. To what? Google Eyewear. And your phone will be on your face on a glasses and it will have a screen inside would tell them everything. And when it looks over at you, it would tell you if you're a criminal, your records, and it will bleep and tell you what you're because of why? Murder, rape, people, and it'll tell it'll tell a digital readout of who you're and what you're doing. How many of you can't wait for that to appear? And people don't realize that. So everything's done. So if you don't see a person with uh, with glasses and they're holding the phone in their hand, they're still in a wagon. So if you don't get these glasses, you don't accelerate and what? Knowledge and increase. And that's that's where we're headed to. All digital markings and things that they've did in India. Do you all know that India has 12 billion people that has taken the mark? They're all marked. So everybody who's poor and does not have a banking account now is not poor. Every baby who is born is marked. That's 12 billion something people marked who have an account. So to live over there, you have to have that mark. So you see how the knowledge is increased. They go scan it, and it gives them the amount of money they need from the welfare system, so it's cut out welfare scanning. What does that do for us over here? Guess what that's going to also do for here? All drug dealers will not have a job. There won't be no currency. So it's going to cut the effect of flow of crooked money instantly. That's why they're putting the pop buildings up to curve it. People get the picture. Government's not silly. They'll give you Sabatran and push it down your throat. You just show your eyewear and you're, you're going to be approved. Many people aren't aware of how rapidly that's going to change. So see, watch this. If you don't change with it and you don't go with it, guess what you don't have? Knowledge. So most of the people that I run to who are 60 who ask me, how do you do what you do? And I show them and they have no knowledge of it. 
And I tell them all the time, you're in dark space. You're one that in the future, you're, 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 you don't exist. So millennium, all right, if you don't plug in, you're not going to exist. Most of the jobs that you're entering in on to, many people don't know that they're building uh, housings for nursings where people go to smart homes. Did you guys see that a paraplegic does not need a nurse anymore? I watched it. I was shocked. The guy had no legs. He would wake up out of bed and say, Lexi, turn the heat on. The heat turn on. He'd get his chair over, get in his wheelchair, go over. Lexi turned the stove on. Then he turned around and looked. He said, if it wasn't for this, I could not be independent. He said, I don't need my care nurse anymore. Do you know how much it costs to have a nurse drive around and go into those homes and sit? And you just get rid of that by smartphone? Smart home, smart house. All you do is tell the paraplegic, you move here and you don't need nobody. You're independent. They much prefer to be independent. I would. So what did they do with senior citizens? Same thing. Guess who they have a companion now? Lexi talks back. And you're thinking, oh, that's not going to, oh, yes, that is. It's going to revamp the healthcare system very quickly. And many people will be involved in that. But, but look what we've got ourselves to. We've increased in the knowledge. And it's became what? It's became uh, uh, terribly bad now. Because now they're going to be able to socially monitor your face, read everything you're doing. The, the site Zuckerberg's building, the only way you get money from him is you have to be a good uh, 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 a person. It's all on grade by how you do. So if you, if you don't cross the walk when the lights are right, you get a dean. You can't get an apartment. You don't get money to your credit. It's like a credited system. It's what they do over in China. The, most of you know that they scan over there, right? You can't get into China without facial recognition. It's all social. So the interview, if you had ever watched any of the interviews where they interviewed the people who had low social scores, they can't rent, they can't travel, they don't do buses, they don't do planes, they can't move around freely. How do you get social credits and scores? You've got to get on there and tweak and talk and you got to become famous. And if you become famous, you get more credits and you can fly, travel, buy homes by the scores you get on there. That's what he's trying to build. So why am I telling you all that? Because that is the technology that I believe that we have to get involved in. And then the, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, when it becomes to the time that you can't buy, sell, or trade. And I believe that's in Revelation 13. You don't have to turn it for the sake of time because I want to show you something how how does this look like it's going to unfold? You know that they're they're everywhere they're going. You can see the younger generations are doing stuff. Technology in all hospitals, they're revamping stuff to keep stuff more away from people to where it's more machinery, where they have to have less care for people on them jobs. So you look over there. And it says that uh, many, I believe it's in Revelation 13, it says many uh, will have to take a mark to buy, sell, or trade. So see, right now, the people ask me all the time, uh, when will we know that this stuff's not good? Well, for the people who aren't aware that, you know, again, they're not raptured, you're in this system right here. So I believe that whole group of people are hoodwinked. They're naive. They've built their religion on a, on a doctrine, and they're arrogant and proud, and they're not going to come off of it. I don't know who they're trying to prove the point to. If you read your Bible, you don't have to try to prove a point. I'm not trying to prove my point. I'm trying to show you when this unfolds, people are going to walk right into it. You'll have to have a health provider, right? You'll have to have a, a, an account. Won't you have to have an account? Won't you have to have uh, uh, 40, 40 plus million people on food stamps? How do you think the government does it? Does anybody uh, remember food stamps and welfare? Mm -hmm. Does anybody remember how you went and got the pack of stamps? The fives, tens, and ones? What do you get now? A card. Now they load that card. So watch what they do. Come on in and get a chip. Bring all your kids with you. And if they say no, they say no milk and cheese. And people look at me like they can't do it. I said, they are doing that. 
I said, they're going to do that. I said, it'll be the biometric scan system. I said, schools will start doing that to show kids who's going into the school so they're not packing a gun in that's not a stranger. And people look at me. I said, they'll do that on buses when you get on buses so they know who you are. And they'll probably do that in the airports. So TSA, I've got to stand and look through all your bags. They'll know who you are. That's how, I'm trying to show you how rapidly that's changing. So how many of you can sit there and remember, just go with me, the CDs? Remember those CDs were not long ago. But first you go back to the eight tracks chase. Then you go back to the phone booth. The phone booth. How many you get a phone booth thrown on your porch anymore? If you do, it's still laying there. Go pick it up. <laughs> right? You look at it and say, I ain't got no need for that. You Google where you're going. Maps are not existing anymore. So go back and look how much now, now watch this. What happens to that stuff while you don't use it? It's out of date so in your mind if you are programmed yourself to grab your phone if you're a person who does this you go straight to resource and you get knowledge instantly world news I'm a news person all my news is directly I'm downloaded on it I have people who wait for the 5 and 6 o'clock news and sit at the TV I said that's not done anymore I drive and listen to the news I boot it on YouTube and listen through the stereo do you understand that? How many people you know sit around the TV and wait for the news? Does anybody remember that? Nobody does it anymore. Well, what do you guys do? No TV at home? You're just sitting there in the dark? You must be some thumping, reading, tongue-praying people. I know you're too busy. So you see all that system setting up. Now there's another system that's moving its way, intertwining with what looks to be like to be the mark of the beast. And people say, how are you going to know? I said, when you can't buy, sell, or trade. So this is going to debunk a lot of the teachings out there when this happens. And listen to me. I'm telling you, if you listen to any other ministries outside, you said, listen to how many talk about the electronics and the gadgets in your hand. Very few of them are talking about the AI. And now in China, if you need a girlfriend, you go rent a robot. The men don't have, over there, go look at it. It's, it's off the hook. they got these dolls they dress up and sit and talk to. They don't interact with women much over there. It's not a put down. It's a fact. Good Google it. So if you're lonely over here and you're not saved and you're in dire need of a maid, guess what? I know people say I'll never do it, but guess what? She looks just like you. Got skin and hair. They dress them up, sit down, talk to them. I know that's, but you guys, I'm telling you. They're rapidly moving towards that system where everybody seems to be intertwined with a robot. And nobody seems to be paying close attention that Warner Cable, has anybody got Warner Cable? Who's got any cable run to the house? Raise your hand. Oh, Charlie, you are, I knew that. He raised his hand. My God. You probably got a wagon you rode in on, didn't you? Charlie raised his hand. Old as dust. But it's true. How many of you got? How many of you got cable box that goes from your TV? Remember that box you push? You got on it. Can you guys look at that laugh today? Can you think what in the world are we doing? A cable hooked to the TV and the kids tripped on it. Then you got a hanger dragging everything across. And you, how many of you got that right? We went far away from that cable box. When's the last time you seen that cable box? Cable guy coming with all that stuff on his hip, and he's going to put that up on top of your TV. He leaves, and you got this big old box, and then a remote box, and you got cable, and your kids a cable, cable, Disney, and you're watching all that. And those boxes don't exist. Spectrum now. Now it says hook Bluetooth to your TV. How many of you go out and buy game boxes anymore? Why? Because your kids play games on their phone. They're not going to go out and produce. So see, it, it, it's putting a dent in sales. People got to do stuff different. So guess what they're doing? They're amping up and putting satellites and stuff quickly into space because they're going to get your handheld devices and your glasses. That's going to be the norm. Everybody will have glasses. I don't know what type of glasses we'll have, but we'll have them. I know Shay pulls out Sunday morning with hers on. Shy does not Shay. And she's got her glasses on. So just sit there and think, if you don't know how to work none of that, what loops are you going to be in? And you're, you know nothing about the accounts, nothing about it? So watch this. There are only two sources of supernatural power. Jesus Christ and Satan. Seeking power beyond God. And Jesus Christ is stepping into the occult realm. 
Now watch this. The cause of the transferring of spirits, living a sinful life, laying on of hands, lust of the flesh, eye gates and ear gates, through the media of words, witchcraft and idolatry, false religion called mind manipulation is how demonic spirits are allowed to transfer. So just sit there and think about why the increase in knowledge? Because Satan can funnel through it. So imagine all the media works, all the media games, all the things you're plugged into. And do you know that the transferring of spirits can work through a lot of that? How many of you are paying attention to the rise right now as you turn your Bibles over to Galatians 3? How many of you are paying any attention to the rise on witchcraft in the nation? Did, any, did anybody see, how many of you know the rapper uh, Summer Walker? Does anybody know her? She's Googled her altar to the devil on the Instagram. Very young. See why you're putting out your campfires at home. Time's accelerating around you. What chapter is that, Pastor Marnia? 1543, chapter 3. Galatians 3. Yeah. So while you're, while you're at home, uh, your diversion is putting out your campfires. You're very unaware of the things that are accelerating around you. So, you know, many people aren't paying attention to the barrage of media. And, um, you know, again... Millions of Christians are sent out into the, the harvest field to harvest and they're not taught spiritual warfare. Uh, you're pulling people out of hell you're touching. Those people have demonic spirits. Anytime you do anything in the altar for God and you don't know how to uh, handle the attack that come against you, many aren't taught spiritual warfare. So, you know, the spiritual warfare that I do is with music. So when I know I'm being attacked or in warfare, I like to stay in praise and worship and in music and stay in the presence of the Lord. Many Christians aren't taught that. They just believe everything happening is a normal. It's just, it's just happening. Or they deal with it. Cycles you stay involved in. Cycles of no money. Consistently broke. Got to borrow. This is the end of the month. It's poverty cycles. It's witchcraft. Cycles you stay in and sickness in your body. Here it comes again. It's this month, same month, same time. Car breakdown, problems with money, drama with people. Those things don't just happen. Those are witchcraft things that you're under and you don't want to understand. You have to fight against them. So you can't go pay offerings and go to ministries and beg for that minister to pray for you and get you out of that. something you have to do on yourself. How many of you have experienced witchcraft on your job? Manipulation. Any form of manipulation is witchcraft. Anytime you manipulate anybody. So quiet people aren't exempt. They're the most dangerous. They're always thinking of how they can work their circumstance. I run into it all the time. So just because you're quiet doesn't mean you're, you're thinking. That's why you can't talk because you're examining. Everything you're doing is for you. And guess what you do? You manipulate the circumstance to work for you. That's witchcraft. So that's one of the levels of religious witchcraft you can get involved in. They don't praise like me. They don't wash it like me. You can't stand to be around unsaved folk. And remember, the Holy Ghost works best around the unsaved. So you have to learn to be around unsaved folk because you're supposed to be a sweet, smelling savory to them. They should want what they see in you. Witchcraft, if you know you're operating in it, is where they got to go to church, they got to get saved, they got to see these, and, and you're forcing them into something by manipulating them into it. People don't get saved by manipulation. How many of you got saved by being manipulated? No, you only manipulated who? Yourself. There's a witchcraft in media. Uh, there's witchcraft uh, um, that can work through media. 
Uh, there's uh, political witchcraft, religious witchcraft, entertainment is witchcraft. So that's where we're seeing the music industry, where we see this young girl who's professing. A, she didn't profess, but she Instagram her altar, and everybody said, you're a... And, you know, the dots on their face, the, the colorings is witchcraft. This is a high Santa Maria. This is nobody to joke with. So as soon as you went tune your ears to her leading you to Satan, you, the, the arrows from the demonic penetrate the mind. So the music is what gets your mind and it penetrates. The music is creating an atmosphere and it's drawing you into where they're at. So you have to be very alert with music. So you're living in a time right now where... Things are increasing in knowledge. So just get a picture and I'll be done. Increase in knowledge. How much stuff is going to be coming through internet? Do you know you very seldom see anybody who's hooked on pornography going to a store and buying pornography? Most of the men and women I work with have it hidden on their phone from their wife. They got fake screens. And they have all the stuff they go in and look at. And you can watch live or pictures, not be graphic. Right. And guess what? They sit on planes and in hotel rooms and stay on that. I mean, I've I, I, I seen a, a part where a, a grown uh, NFL player had went and made a mold, the image, and, and flow around with the image of the lower part of a woman's anatomy. You see how demonic that gets. And people wouldn't sit by him because they said the whole time he sat, he was looking at pornography on his what? Cell phone. You see the picture the Lord's drawn to. Can you see this picture? It's increasing in knowledge. People don't have to go outside anymore to get involved in anything. They can go directly to their phone. But see, people aren't aware that a lot of witchcraft, a lot of... Mind and manipulation stuff can be birthed out of this if it's not healthy and you're not paying attention to it. The movies that are on Next Fleck. I know I'm on YouTube, but I'm telling you, Next Fleck produces a lot of movies involving witchcraft. And you have to be careful how they're doing these. Uh, you start watching them, the strange thing and stuff, and then you have demons start coming into your living rooms. And uh, people aren't aware that they can penetrate and they can enter a command and they're looking for you to get on your devices. Do you know you have demons stand around you that watch you? And they watch your habits. And if you're bound in something, and most everybody is, they're quiet. Uh, the individuals who, who love food, and you know they don't, they don't choose heroin, but they'll kill themselves with a fork. I have people who can't quit eating. They love certain foods. If you, if you bring free food out, it's like a fight. They will knock you down to get that free food. They will. They'll take, they won't even take a ticket. They'll knock people over. They'll start dancing when they know they're going to eat. They will. They'll get happy. They'll smile. You tell, you know, they, they don't do nothing else. They're the holy sanctified saints. But in the meantime, they got a Big Mac and a Whopper and it, I'm listen. I minister to obesity. I had a grown man who ate two pizzas and a liter of pop and a, a steak sandwich. And then after work, he went and shopped. And I he I asked him why. He said I cook food on the weekends because people don't want to come around me. He said if I cook the food, they'll come over and eat. He dealt with the spirit of loneliness. He passed away. I told him the Lord loved him and he would cry. He said, you don't know my life. He was very big and I said, but he loves you. And I sat down with him in a, in a room and did everything I can to tell him God loves you. And he would cry and say, well, you got, you're the only person to talk to me. He was very heavy and had an odor and people didn't get around him. And his addiction was food. And you know why he was eating? He had low self-esteem and nobody cared for him. So he ate to release his dopamines and the manipulation that was involved in there. So see, it takes on all forms of different habits with people. If you cannot read, how many of you read your Bibles? If you read your Bible, you don't have to raise your hand. But if you read your Bible, Ricky raised his hand. Well, I want to draw a picture here. How many of you have trouble reading your Bible? How many of you 
have read your Bible in the last day. If you don't read your Bible, how do you know God? You don't know Him. If you haven't read it since yesterday, you would have to ask yourself, what power of witchcraft would be over me? Now this is another thing I deal with is witchcraft. I got people who stay consistently busy. So hang on a second. God is not going to hear you tell him how many schools and events you've been involved in is why you couldn't do that. So the reason why a generation of people stay involved in... I got people go to school and graduate and go back to school. And they're 30 and 50. And I'm like, how many diplomas can you put on your wall? If it's not bringing a check, don't fool with it. It's just a waste of time. Because if you're going to do something, it should bring an income. If it's not bringing an income, don't fool with it. It's just a waste of time. Do you know how many people that me and her know who stay consistently? And then here's their thing. I don't have time. They don't come to church because they tell me, well, I got to go here. God doesn't buy that. So you're the one that crams yourself consistently busy. So when you go home, you fall over. Then you think God's buying. I'm tired. That's not how that works. That's not a ticket to get away from not reading. There's a bondage you're under if you can't read your Bible. How many of you pray and have a consistent prayer life where you at least pray for one hour in tongues. How many of you do that? That's a consistent thing. If you can't, you're under some form of witchcraft. So as soon as you get off work, if your mind is racing about doing stuff, going places, and being busy, you're in bondage. You're supposed to have a set time at home to where you can open your Bible and read your Bible, and pray at least for an hour. And to me, that's not enough time. There's no prayer that penetrates heaven in a car or a shower. A ruck of old time putting your shoes on. You have to sit quietly and do it. If you don't have any of that time, you have to ask yourself, what power has a hold of me that I can't get into that lifestyle? Because that's the lifestyle you're, you're supposed to be in. So if you open your Bible and fall asleep... Something has got a hold of you. It's not God. If your mind races, if you're right now sitting here and ain't paying attention to me, you're bound by demons. So if you can't pay attention to me, guess what? You don't pay attention to nobody else. If you can't stay off your phone, if you can't stay off of reading the medias all day, you're bound by it. The spirit of witchcraft is through media. That's why I used all that media to show you how the spirit of witchcraft can have you on the phone. I minister to young girls who are on their phone for 4 to 11 hours a day. Could you imagine that, Angie? 11 hours a day on your phone? How long do your kids stay on it? So see, I was showing you how that's increasing. Why? Because it's going to get everybody entwined. And if you can't get set free from it, when it comes time to take the mark to eat, sell, and trade, you are not going to lie that down and walk away from it. Because guess what? They're going to tell you, you will be out of knowledge if you don't have this in your pocket. You will not be able to follow with the rest of us. Are you going to be able to say, lie it down and turn away like a leper? I'm putting that in front of you because that's where we're headed. And, and the church is walking sound asleep. I'm involved in it as much as I can get involved in it. But me and Myrna have food stored up. We have things that we're doing wisely. Joseph was wise. Why are there no Joseph in the, in the body of Christ today? If Joseph was living today and you went to his house, I guarantee you he would be hooked from the neck up on things that would keep people alive. Joseph was called into the kingdom. Back then his resources was cattle and food and grain. He didn't lack any of that because God used his life to keep other people alive. What do you have in your life that will keep your family members alive and led to Christ? How are you going to use all the instruments and tools you got to bring them into Christ? See, for the family members that I have that don't want to come and hear me, They'll turn that on and watch me. They rather listen to me from there than listen to me from here. What resources are you going to have to bring people to Christ? 
What storages do you have? Do you have extra food? Do you have extra water? Do you have the resources to help these people when these times come? And to bring in people into Christ. And how are you going to bring the majority of people out of the stuff that you're saying we're not supposed to be involved in that? It's witchcraft. How are you going to turn around and help them with the power on you to say you need to come out of that? And we're moving rapidly towards those areas. How many of you shop and then go to the store and pull up and they carry your food out? Ricky, Melody, D, right? You pull right up and they just carry your food out. Marna's had it shipped to the door and we don't even go pick it up. I'm like, wow, this is easy. Just don't get no chips. But you look how quick that's rapidly moving. How many of you would have ever thought, now watch this and I'll be done. How many of you would have thought you would never have to get car insurance again? Do you know why? The driverless cars that are coming, the money you make is the status of car you get. So if you're wealthy, you could have a nice Tesla. It pulls up. You get set in it. You touch the window. The screen comes up. It's telling you where you're going. You get on the computer and you can watch it while it drives. It drops you off, gets out. The Tesla goes back to a garage, goes in it, and goes up and sits in a storage space and waits for you to get off work. It's not parked at your house. Guess what? You don't have to get insurance for it. It's covered by the company. Gas and fuel, where does those two items go? You now go into plug-in meters, so you got to have them installed on your smart home. If you don't move into a smart community and you're outside of that community, it'll be unsafe community. Guess what you're going to be when they look out their window and you're pulling by in that car? A brand new Buick like mine is going to be a dinosaur in the next 20 years. Today it's hip, but in 20 years I'll pull by and there'll be a Tesla plugged into a unit. I'll say, where's there any gas? They say, he is old school. You guys don't think that's happening. It's going to get rid of the insurance quickly. And guess what? When you don't have to have truck drivers who have to have salaries and pensions and truck drivers who get paid and don't need health care, guess how many people that alleviate jobs it removes quickly? And in the meantime, is your eyes uncovered enough to see this coming? Go look at something that should frighten you. All the statues that are sitting up in America, all these Baumith statues in government buildings, they're setting up Satanist worshipers. The Pope just put up that statue of, what's that called? Malik. Malik. Right outside the Vatican, the, God, the demon god of sacrificing children, a statue right outside of the Vatican. And I told you he's a false prophet. Sadhu said he was, and he is. He's, he's opening those plans up. So when you put that statue there, it attracts demonic forces. He's put that right outside the Vatican. A statue that says, we kill babies, and you're a confessing priest. Go Google it. That's how it got to me. Right out in front of there is the statue. The statues that are in New York City, they put up the statues of Baal they brought in and set up. Why are they putting these statues up all over the Georgia time stone squares they're going down to? It's showing you some. The CERN, I believe it's China, it's called the Dragon. The CERN over in Sweden, that they're digging into the core of the ocean. They're going to open up port hose. Do you understand that the, react, the reacting of the Nephilons and the critters and beasts that were in Noah's day are going to reappear again? On the earth. On the earth. Shirley, do you mind if I tell them about that pig? Cheryl? Yeah. She says, people don't, people don't have these things go on, but she had a, a, a half man with pig legs appear to her. And he, he walked in and she seen him. And people don't think that stuff's real. He had the legs of the body of a pig and the upper part of a man. 
I thought, wow, you're seeing those the, horror, the Nephilims are, are reappearing. All these pictures and stuff that. So what's now? Watch what's going to unleash all this stuff on on the earth and increase it? Technology. That's that's why the people are having more encounters with being raped in the middle of the night, having husbands that are incubus and succubus. Uh, uh, stars and people who are having sex with uh, uh, demon spirits. You know, I could go down the list uh, of people who uh, sang music and infiltrated people with stuff. The Beatles were one of those people. Evers Presley was one. Jim Morris was one. Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince of Darkness. These people unleashed darkness on people. And you sit and watch these people and you're not aware of entertainers in church settings. If the music's not right, it's going to either create the atmosphere for God or the atmosphere for Satan. Certain chords will release curses. And you have to be discerning when you're hearing that what it's bringing. So look how quick and how much technology is being released. How many of you can remember your credit cards and then they went to what in it? A chip. Now when you put it inside of there now, it'll hold your card until you give the number. Eventually, they're going to move away from that chip. And you won't even need that card. It'll be a dinosaur. You'll have to swipe with your hand. Why am I telling you that? Because that's the time we're in. And many of the believers are stuck on a doctrine. And they're not paying attention. So they, they've, they've taken their mind and went into a, what I call safe room. They don't want to hear and be responsible but the time is accelerating. So for you, time's not going to stop. Janae is going to have to do something different here in the next few years with DJ. DJ's not going to walk into the working world like she did. How many more school shootings do you think they're going to let keep going before they figure out? They're building schools. Now watch this. They're building what schools? Smart schools. Doors with jams in them, windows that want panic buttons. When they build them schools, they're in the hundreds of the millions. Bulletproof windows, uh, security cameras watching the people on there. So all these schools that don't have those systems, they're not going to go there. They're going to go to the schools that have those systems. Hospitals eventually will get involved in that because there's so many things happening in the ER. So you just look how quick you're sitting there thinking that that phone that's uh, filming me in a few more weeks, we're not even going to have that. We're going to have stuff set up because it's almost out of date, isn't it, Ricky? That's how quick that's out of date on us. We're already looking at another way to redo this because that system is out of date. So the platform that we're using, these things are going so quick. So if you're a Christian, you do not be focused all day on your problems. Satan builds fires. No rent, no money. We're in Brown, we're in Brown. And you can't focus. Try to make sure you're increasing and following the Spirit. And don't be like a lot of these older saints I see. It ain't going to bug me. I said, let me tell you something, brother. When you ain't got Social Security in the bank and you have to find another way to get it on your phone and you ain't got a phone, I said, who do you think cares if you get your money? <laughs> ain't nobody going to come and say, we'll work that out for you. Do you not have to fill out and re-enroll in your insurance? When they, when they re-roll that around, that's how that's going to happen. So wake yourself up and say, you know what? Get in your Bible, read and pray, and stay up on what you see the technology moving in. You know, use the resources while you have the time. Because when the mark of the beast time comes... A lot of people are going to walk right into it. And then there's going to be a lot of people that know, I can't. The people that say, I can't, go back to the dinosaur days. Because they will not be in, what, or what are they not being hoodwinked into? Knowledge. So if I say, I can't take that, they're going to say, you won't, you won't be like them. So what, how will Satan engraft most of the people in? Increase knowledge. And people right now have to have that. How many families are videotaping their kids on YouTube and putting them on there and getting points and scores? How many young single girls are on there getting a paycheck? 
and got millions of followers. Do you think they're going to lose those channels? They're going to increase in knowledge. YouTube pays you if you get an amount of people. How much is it, Melody? You get like a, a million followers. It's a pretty big check on a, on a month. Many people don't know that. So just sit there and think for yourself. What are you going to do? How are you going to follow in 2020? And here's where I'm ending. That's where it's headed to. You remember I told you 2020 is the marking of something accelerating. 2030 is the end of it. But 2020, things are going to rapidly change. If you can't flow with what's changing, you're going to be out of the loop. And then when it gets to the time that you know you can't get involved in it, you're going to be like the few men in China who never had a place to live and were starving to death because they refused to get involved in the biometric systems. That's where we're headed. And what are you going to do? Because, see, it's all governed. It's got witchcraft over it. It's just sucking people in, pulling people in. Take 40 million plus people on food stamps and they tell them you have to do this if you want to eat look how many people will be harvested to hell off of a chip it won't even realize it and tell you but we got to eat the bible says in the book of galatians oh who's bewitched you watch what he says they had a veil over their mind it tells you in the Bible that your mind can be spiritually manipulated by spiritual things. These people had a veil over their mind. And they were manipulated. And it says they were blind. So you have to take, now this is it. You have to take this walk you're in serious. And if you have not sat down and know the Holy Spirit inside of you as a person and you do not know him and you've been filled for years and you don't even know the person inside of you, you've not made yourself known to the word of God, you've not made yourself known to prayer, you're in trouble. Because if you walk around and pray in tongues and you don't know him, he's a prisoner. He's in you to tell the Lord what you've been doing here. He's your friend, but he's also going to be the one that says, Lord, I was held prisoner in that body where they did these things. Right. So God didn't give you the Holy Spirit so you walked around and was not educated. Praying in tongues, spending time in the Word educates you in the Spirit. So take the time you have. Educate yourself. Go after information and resources through the praying and the Spirit and your word. And don't be caught off guard. And don't be uh, what the Bible says. They perish because they had a lack of knowledge. You should be the first one that's got the Holy Spirit knows. No. Because who's going to help lead you when it comes to this? Do you think you're going to call people up and say, hey, could you help me? Any worldly people is going to tell you, you need to do that if you want to eat. How many people surround you would tell you we shouldn't do that and they don't have no biblical understanding? So you watch how the power of witchcraft starts pulling people in and before you know it, it's okay to go to an altar and pray to the devil. It's okay to have robots and do those things and before you know it, you're integrated into that system and you're lost. The first time, did anybody ever think this way? If you think Think about taking the mark. Did you ever think you would be damned? What's the Bible said the Lord thinks about your thoughts? So just sit there and think you've already damned yourself by contemplating, should I or shouldn't I? I would be scared to even let my mind think, oh, he, he won't care. Do you know how many people going to tell you God told them to? I seen it last night in my vision. And you're going to be sitting there looking at them. And you know, it's, it's not important to people who, who don't believe. But you just remember after tonight, you're probably not going to see any banks. 
How do we know that? We're doing ministry. We see how things are rapidly moving. We set the system up that swipes everything. We're seeing, man, this is rapidly moving. See, if you're not involved in that, you don't know. You're an employee that will find out your work consistently changes that is cheaper to keep you. So we're already looking at stuff that makes this easier, watching it, and smoother. Five years from now, you're probably not going to see a bank. How many of you go to one? What do you, do you go buy and swipe for cash out? Right. But guess what? Most people do their computer exchanges. They don't even do that. See, you're in the older crowd, no disrespect, but that's the younger crowd, like, no, they, they got, they're too busy with their, their Javas and their, they just deposit, don't they, Janae? They do it for, now they do online. Churches don't even take up an offering, just do it all online. So just think, what are you going to do when you don't have to deposit? How many of you cash a check, a handwritten check? It's got to be what? Directly? And if you don't have direct deposit, you don't get a check. Don't they tell you that? Right. See how, see how that's got you locked into that system? So people don't understand that they can literally build your account on cryptocurrency and you don't even have to fool with that. It's all done on your digits. And guess what it does? It removes employees, bank robbers, funneling money wrong, and you have to get involved in it. Do you have a card that swipes you in at your job? People tell me, I don't want to give all my numbers away. And I said, well, that card that swipes you in your job has already gave you away. It's got every bit of your information on it when you swipe it. You can't get in a door if you... Ain't it a miserable night at work if you don't have your card? You can't get into areas. You can't get into the doctor's lounge. <laughs> Patients' documents. <laughs> I still need to leverage your name. Me in the doctor's lounge. Lord have mercy. Well, Father, we thank you tonight. I just pray this has been educational. I pray... You've got an understanding that Daniel said knowledge will increase and that right now in the name of Jesus Christ, many need deliver from the powers of witchcraft and darkness. So I pray over you as Myrna turns on or some music. She's flowing. She's entertained. She's vibrant and she's putting on something soft as we flow in the power of the Spirit for those who need deliverance. How many of you have trouble focusing? Right. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just pray right now, Lord. We just pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Train of thought. Focusing. Lord, I just pray right now. How many of you have trouble retaining knowledge? learning, studying. Father, we just thank you right now. Aren't those tools vital for when you're going out? And some of you sitting here just got those crypto bio brains. You don't need no help. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it's 10 till 11, 10.50. I just pray now, Lord, over every thought. Right there is the power of the Lord coming in the room. I pray for every thought. Every thought. How many of you, when you sit down in front of your co-workers, to sit in front of the staff, fall asleep? You know, if you're having a meeting, do you fall asleep in the meeting? No. But when spiritual things is, you can't have, you can't hold your head up. Why? Because that meeting you're having is worldly. It's not poor, but when they're spiritual, they'll knock you out. So, Father, we just pray right now over the live stream audience. Come on, if you, if you don't want to be free and you don't believe you have a problem, I dismiss you to go on home and eat you some freedoms. But I pray over the live stream audience in the name of Jesus Christ. Them that want to excel in their ministries. 
I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that I might be free. Found in Come on. You should be good and tired. Come on. We break the cords of wickedness. I pray that what God gave me helped you. Preach deliverance. What is that? I'm preaching to you the future and how to keep yourself out of the spider's web. Somebody clap your hands and praise and praise again. We just believe the power of God is touching the live stream audience. How many of you daydream? Find yourself daydreaming. Losing space and time. Tell them by. I'm gonna do that. You all right? You can stay right there. Well, we're thanking God right now as Ricky fills the power. Touch that pole, Ricky. And we ask the Lord to minister to you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray that this has helped you. Listen, they're making demonic clothing. Demonic clothing. They're making so much stuff demonic anymore. I'm praying that you're wise as a dove and harmless as a serpent to keep yourself free from the things that we're entering into. I believe it's okay to use the technology, but when the time comes, you're not going to be wise to untangle from it and get away from it. I believe the time will come when you cannot buy, sell, or trade. You're going to have to know I can't be involved in that. But in the meantime, get involved, get knowledge, and increase in understanding. Use every resource that you can to preach the gospel. So I pray over you now. As me and Ricky in this house touch and agree that you're filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. And right now, you're being set free from all forms of witchcraft, manipulations, sicknesses. Always broke, uh, cars breaking down, harassments, demonic attacks, harassments. And I'm just praying if you're in any type of Christian yoga, any any type of music that open demonic doorways, I pray you close them over you. Sexual sins, fornicating, pornography, get away from them. And I pray the liberty and freedom of God is to set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, live stream audience. Till me and Pastor Murder meet again. God bless. God bless. We love you.